technology nowadays is pretty amazing. It's used for good things, and it's also used for bad things, unfortunately, but that's kind of the way things are in life. But we can use it for good to fellowship with brothers and sisters around the world. I have a cousin, and she is married to a man from Senegal. And we have at least one viewer that is from Senegal, and they wanted me to show an artist or artist from Senegal, and that's what I'll do. Brothers and sisters, it's amazing to know you guys all around the world. We can, we can do that in fellowship for now, and we can see that it's the whole world deceived like this, as we see in the videos every day, with the signs, symbols, and agendas. We're not focused on nitpicking about people's lives. Like, they, they have to, you know, God will be the judge of them. God knows their heart. God knows their thoughts before they think them. God is amazing. But I'm not nitpicking at, at little things. You guys know what I mean? It's We're focusing on the signs, symbols, and agendas. We're all sinners here. I'm a sinner that hates to sin. I, I feel ashamed when I sin. I don't make a habit of it. But you guys know what I mean. We're living in a fallen world. The flesh is weak. Our home is not this place. We are merely passing through. So we can fellowship with each other around the world. That's very neat and very special. But we can also see an artist like Baba Mal here from Senegal. He too is doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. A funny sounding name. That's how you spell it. A mudra is a gesture from yoga that is supposed to represent supreme enlightenment, but it is the false light of Lucifer. Think to yourself, are they pridefully posing like this all the time in their pictures and social media, doing hidden occult secret hand signs and symbols because they love Jesus Christ in truth? No, th just honestly, common sense will tell you that of course they're not. So there's two options. You are for Jesus Christ or you are against him. And when you're against him, you're with the devil. You're with Satan. Lucifer, some may say, in this world. So, brothers and sisters, it's amazing to see the whole world is like this. And we're told Satan's the small g god. Satan offered Jesus all the kingdoms of the earth. When Jesus was in the desert, he got tempted by Satan. We know what Jesus said. He worships the Father alone, and he's about the Father's business. And God will not be tempted. Brothers and sisters... We live in a biblical world. If you don't believe that, please honestly research and please honestly pray to Jesus Christ. Ask him and don't give up on him after a day or two if nothing clicks for you. For me, God has done this. I was blind in the world and then God said, hey, you want to see the world? I'll bring it back there so you can see the full picture. I don't have it all figured out, but God has done this and it's like, you know, God and the gospel, biblical world, sold out satanic world, everyone's, everyone's doing these signs, symbols, and agendas. It's clear to see. We're living in the last days. That's a good thing. I'm looking up. I don't like setting dates or any of that stuff. Let's be focused about the business of our Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until we go home, brothers and sisters, everyone watching, God bless you.